How's it going, everybody? My name is Massey, and welcome to the 10th episode of our Sekiro Shadows Die Twice walkthrough. In the previous episode, we managed to make our way to the... Yeah, we didn't make our way anywhere. We finished the Sunken Valley, and we killed the Guardian Ape, and now we're ready to move on to the Ashner Depths. So, travel to the abandoned dungeon, and let's get on with it. The first obstacle that we have is going to be uh, the Shichiman Warrior. He's a demon, so we're going to have to use Divine Confetti. He applies terror, so of course, the pacifying agents are uh, required. Uh, what else? Like you can do anti-air death blow on him if he jumps around too much, keep that in mind. But if you hit him too many times, he's going to teleport to the opposite side of the room. And he's going to do a like big, big beam of attacks that is going to track you. So just run in a horizontal way and you should be fine. Have Alco's Sugar, Divine Confetti, and Pacifying Agent ready. And let's go, let's go uh, see what we can do. So... For now, let's make our way over here into the abandoned dungeon where I told you not to go previously. And go over here to pick this up and prepare yourselves for the boss fight. Divine confetti, of course. Pacifying agent, of course. Jump down and go for the fight. So, spam him. Pacifying agent, the reason I'm using it without even having terror on me is because it actually gives you terror resistance while it's up on you. So, that's why it's so useful. Let's see where he teleports. There he is, so I'm just going to avoid that. He's doing a charge up attack, so we're just going to not deal with that. Nice, there we go. We got him in the first uh, phase, and he's going to go into the second one. Alco's Sugar, Divine Confetti, and of course the Pacifying Agent. Where is he? Okay, there he is. So let's rush him down. Oh, he's jumping around. I think I wasted my buffs here. Is he going to jump around? No, he's not. Okay. Whoa! Wait, did he just instantly parry me? Okay, that's a bit BS. That's a, that's a little bit BS if I do say so myself. Okay, I guess my Aqua Sugar got kind of wasted here, but it's fine. What a bitch boss. So, where are you gonna go? There he is. Let's just keep running. He's not even jumping, so let's just kill him like that. I've never had him parry me on the first hit because he usually lets you wail on him a little bit. Okay, how are you not how are you not dead? Jesus Christ. Let's just kill him. Even if he did get hit, it's okay. We got him at the end of the day. So we get the ceremonial tanto, or I think that's how it's pronounced. And it's just like the blood bullets from back in Bloodborne. You sacrifice some of your health to get some uh, instead of uh, instead of bullets in this game you get uh, emblems. Spirit emblems. So pretty cool. Make your way across here. Pick up the black gunpowder and turn your attention to the opposite side. There is a piece of loot that we missed. Let's go pick this up. There we go. Once we have done this, we're going to make our way to the top here. And I believe there should be a loot behind here. There we go. I think it's coin. Oh, it's a big coin. Okay, fair enough. Uh, if you go up here, just want to show you guys where we are actually. That's the That's the well. That's where we picked up the scrap iron in the fifth episode. So, kind of cool. Kind of creepy as well, because in the first, very, very first episode in the tutorial area, we were actually right next to a demon. So, kind of a weird one. Anyway, rest here to get our uh, our emblems, our, our emblems, sorry, our uh, gourds back. And make your way across here. So, we're going to have to jump here. So, as, as always, in the Souls games, take the plunge, you won't die. And keep spamming grapple hook until you eventually reach something. There we go. Pick this up. Go inside here. Make a little jump. Fistful of ash. Jump down here. And pick up the pacifying agent. So, we're gonna rest here because we have we're missing a little bit of health, and that's not cool. So, let me just take care of this, and we're going to be using our, uh, no, first let me put the pellet back where it belongs. Pellet is important. And of course, let's use a uh, sugar here. There we go, gotcha, sugar. And it's going to help us, because this place, obviously, this is, if you don't know where we are, by the way, this is where we actually reached at the end of the serpent cave. I told you not to come here uh, at the time, and now we are here, obviously, so pretty cool. The mini boss here is a snake eyes boss fight, so she can see you from pretty far away. 
We're gonna try our best to kill this uh, dude down here before she actually manages to catch us off. And here she is. Hopefully she'll rush me down around here so I won't have to... I'm worried about her doing her stupid grab attack. There, stupid. Speaking of the devil. There we go. Avoid that. There we go. Let's get that, and that's good. Okay. I'm trying to point her towards uh, the other side because I don't want to fight her in the in the poison pool. Oh, she almost grabbed me there. The hitboxes are pretty questionable with this grab attack, so yeah, keep that in mind. She should be dead here. I feel like she should be. There we go. And with that, Snake Eyes is dead. So we're good to go. Pick up the prayer bead. Well, pick up the prayer bead. Uh, you get the prayer bead. <laughs> and once you're here, go over to this uh, poison pool to pick up this heavy coin purse. Awesome. I believe there's a material behind this rock. There we go. There, there it is. Let's see if we can pick it up from... Yeah, without getting into the poison. Perfect. There was a piece of loot on the Buddha. So we're going to go get it real quick. Uh, there we go. There we go. And there we go. Grapple hook. Nice. Do this. Do that. Do this. There's one more guy left, but by the time we actually loot everything, we're going to kill him. Pick up the black gunpowder. Make your way over here. This is the bonfire that we got later, like uh, previously, sorry, not not later, what? And make your way to the top here to kill this guy. There we go. Awesome. So, I don't have to pause the video for a brief second though, but I'll be back in a second. Okay, sorry about that. I, had, I predicted that noise and noise was coming, so I'm super glad that I actually paused the video there. Okay. So, there's more pieces of loot up there, as you can see, but we're going to be picking up, picking those up later. Don't worry about them for now. Not later, but later I mean like in like 20 seconds. Grapple hook up here. There is a, uh, there's a dude down there, by the way. It's just some guy who told you to be careful. Because the next boss is going to be a rematch with the Guardian Ape, but this time he has a buddy. What fun, you know? Huh. It's it's such a garbage boss fight this this one because the other guardian ape is just phase one guardian ape but a little bit l more passive I guess he's pretty uh, she's pretty difficult to deal with and uh, I'm hoping that I might be able to rush the other one down before the actual guardian ape does uh, too much damage to me we'll see how it goes so kill this guy. Pick up monkey booze, pretty cool. And uh, prepare yourself for these for this garbage boss fight. So, what we're gonna do, put Akko's sugar and divine confetti. We're gonna be trying to hit as hard as possible. Not in the first phase, the first phase is just it's just him. But the second phase is where the uh, the bitch comes down. We got some free damage, which is good. We're gonna be using the whole, you know, loaded spear thing. We're gonna be using firecrackers for the the life as well. Big slamming coming. There we go. Awesome. Get this guy. That's it. Avoid that terror attack because I don't want to deal with that at all. If he did, if he actually did terror attacks more in the second phase, that would have been a lot more fun. Like. Because he would actually be stationary rather than actually chasing you down with a big ass sword. The arena is pretty too small, doesn't even have pillars or anything, so you can't even split them up. It's just such a it's just such a bad boss fight, I swear to god. Oh god, wait, whoa, 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 Oh no, okay. I thought I thought he was doing the terror thing. Okay, there there she is. There's a lovely lady. So obviously avoid that. And hopefully if we're gonna be able to stay look 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 you see what I mean about this boss fight being absolute trash? This one rushes me down. All the other one just, you know, can rush me down as well. Okay. I'm going to try my best to parry them both at the same time. I don't even know if that's possible, but I'm trying. So. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, now okay, now it's just not working on her straight up. Ugh, this is so messy, but I think I got her. There we go. Jesus Christ. We got her. God bless. We didn't even die. <clears throat> okay. Say hi to the Oh god, wait, what? I was spamming you what what? Okay. I guess that's uh, that's okay. Huh, just to get some damage onto him. Should be fine. I don't. I didn't even know why I didn't deflect that. Literally was spamming L1. There we go. Oh 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 oh. Avoid that at all costs. Okay, he's doing the jump attack. Sweep. Nice. Oh, he's doing the slam. There we go. Use the spear. Do as much damage as possible. Oh, oof, oof, that's not good, that's not good. There we go. So he's gonna do the slam attack again, hopefully? Yeah. I guess the, the his moveset has changed a little bit. Should be dead though. And there we go. That's the Guardian Ape 2.0, the electric boogaloo with her, with his stupid mate. We killed them both, and I'm glad. So. With this one, then I'm going to go rest at the bonfire. But before we do so, we can finish him off for good this time around. With the mortal blade that is going to be able to, you know, kill that is unkillable. So, what is unkillable? Whatever. So, get everything and make your way over here. I'm going to rest here, and we have a lot of prayer beads, as you can see. There we go, enhanced physical attributes. We get the Bestow Ninjutsu, which is just, it ex I believe it extends the range of your uh, uh, assassination technique, but I'm not really interested in using it. I've never used it, that's why I'm not interested in it. So, make our attack power even bigger. Make your way to the top, and here we are. So, we're going to make our way to the forest here, and... Uh, it's an interesting zone. It's relatively longer than Miwu Village, I would say, which is the next zone after that. There's a bunch of these spirit versions of these ninja guys. Avoid them. I don't care. Not fighting those. Pretty annoying to fight, as always. So, just make your way over here. Rest at the bonfire. There we go. <laughs> and as you can see, this entire force is actually... Oh, let me... Oh, I have five skill points. Wait a minute. I have five skill points. There we go. Get the prosthetic art. And go to make your medicine stronger. So you're gonna your healing gourds are gonna pretty much heal you to full at this point. Once you're here, uh, as you can see, this entire forest is covered in mist. So the thing about it is, uh, it's actually it has a source. It's just a mini boss of this area. So we're gonna rush him down first, and then once the mist has cleared up, we're gonna go pick up everything from the bottom of the ground. The reason we're doing this is because I would loot everything if it wasn't for the. It's not about the like the physical being of the mist. It's the fact that it summons undying ghosts like you kill them and they resurrect like a one like one second later ghosts of like ashina warriors and such so that's why it's super annoying and that's why i decide to avoid it so once you make your way to this big clearing stick to going to the left keep going to the left keep going to the left and once you are here turn left again and boom you should see a grapple point grapple up here and stick to going on right Grapple onto this to launch yourself over here, and one more grapple. We're just grappling left and right like Spider-Man, I swear to God. There we go. Make your way up here. Pick up this, and... Make your way to the house. The reason is, is because the hardest mini-boss of the entire series is actually in this room. It's pretty difficult to deal with, but the good thing is they actually, uh, gods at FromSoft have, has, have actually given us a chance to have, you know, make it easier by giving us one free health bar. So that's good. But yeah, he's going to demolish us now. Hopefully I will be able to stay alive. Just kidding, he is the easiest enemy in the Soul series. He doesn't even defend himself, he doesn't do attacks, nothing. Lump of great wax, Grave Wax, pretty awesome. And as you can see, the mist is starting to disappear. Pretty cool. So, we're gonna wait for the mist to disappear entirely. And teleport to the last communed idol. And we're gonna be fighting something scary soon. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not excited for this one. Not even one bit. 
Ugh. We're going to be fighting a headless. Let's just say like that. Their attacks apply terror. They do a lot of heavy attacks. And uh, they do spinny attacks. Once they do spinny attacks, that means they're going to teleport. So, yeah. Uh, once they teleport, they're going to teleport behind you and try to rip your heart out. Or rip cage out. One of the two. Or spine, even. And uh, once they've done that, what else do they do? They do a lot of normal attacks with their sword. Again, applies terror, so use your pacifying agents as much as possible. Um, the, and the thing is, they slow you down. So what, what I'm trying to do is to uh, kind of don't aim at them and kind of attack them like this while walking, kind of like kind of like this. You know what I mean? Like imagine that, imagine this piece of grass in the middle is just the headless. And I'm just going to stay behind him, trying my best to stay behind him like this to kind of abuse his uh, spinning stupid. The fact that he can't turn around. Let's just say it like that. So, make your way over here. Pick up this. Oh, God. It's fine. We have some loot down here. Pick this up. There we go. I hate fighting headless. It's such a dumb enemy. Like, genuinely poorly designed. Some of the worst boss fights in any uh, Souls game. From Soft History in general. So... Now that we've looted everything up here. That, 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 that rooster is after my ass. Holy crap, let me, oh, both of them are apparently. Oh, nice, look at that damage. Imagine a rooster being able to do that much damage to a person who's, who literally can kill gods. I'm not even joking. Uh, let me use a pillow here. <clears throat> okay. So prepare yourselves for one of the worst boss fights in history and try to listen to my tips as much as possible. As much as, much as possible. So I'll go sugar, divine confetti, and of course the pacifying agent. So go around him and try your best to just slide on through. As you can see, his attacks are just super slow. He's going to be behind us in a second, so let's just avoid him. There we go. Go behind him once he's done that. Unfortunately, I couldn't go behind him because this boss is trash. There we go. He's going to spin around. Once he does, again, he's going to be behind us. So let's just go behind him instead. And hit him for a lot of damage, hopefully. Come on. Where is your guard break? There we go. Uh, the mist can disappear, uh, you know, not permanently, temporarily. So, just rebuff yourself with the Divine Confetti and use a Pacifying Agent. He's going to teleport behind us in a second. Let's just go behind him. As you can see, now that we are fast, we can easily just circle around him. But now the, the, mist is, it has, the mist has come back again. And we have to fight him normally. And that's a pain. Is he going to spin? He's going to spin, thank god. His spinning is the best uh, time for you to actually attack him. Because, you know, you can get the time to get behind him. Just attack, attack, attack. Oh, I died to the terror? Really? He has one health and I died to the terror. Man, that is not fair. But he's dead. <laughs> okay, we got him. Thank god, okay. I got greedy. That's my fault, but this boss is trash. And the thing, one of the cool things about this... Uh, at least the only good thing about these guys is that the headless actually drop a permanent version of the sugars This one is my favorite. That's why I kill it so fast uh, so early because it's gotchen spirits a uh, spirit fall The only thing that it does instead of actually consuming a charge of an item They take some of your spirit elements away, but at least you have a permanent version of the sugars in your bag really cool There we go pick up everything that uh, this place has to offer and make your way to the top. So, oh God damn it! I'm so bad at this place. I just see. Because there is an important piece of loot that we might, you might miss in general, if you actually don't go over here. If you keep going this way, there is gonna be. There we go. There it is. I always miss this one, but this time I remembered it. It's just Yashariku's uh, sugar, but. It's eh. It's an average loot. It's pretty good. It reduces your health. I, I'm pretty sure I mentioned this, but it reduces your health to half, but it increases your damage by like a lot. And that's why it's so useful. Or it can be useful, rather. Make your way up here. Get revenge on this uh, rooster, because I hate roosters in this game. FromSoft games make you hate any type of animal that is in them. Pick up the light coin purse from up here. 
and make your way across again. We're gonna loot everything, and this is, and that's when we're going to end. We're going to end the video. We have one more mini boss in this area to deal with, but this one is actually much better. So, don't worry about it. Make your way over here and start looting. You don't have to jump around anywhere. There's no enemies down here. There's nothing to deal with, and we are free as hell. So, get the bite down. It's just for attempting suicide to you know not waste your uh, charges of uh, resurrection. So, let's go over here. Pick this up and there we go. Pick this up. Contact medicine, light coin purse, a lot of goodies. Okay. Yellow gunpowder, also goodie. And uh, that is it for now, I believe. That's the that's the loot of this place. We have a couple more things left in the back, but and a mini boss, of course. But it shouldn't be that big a deal. So, as always. Uh, we're gonna go over to this big tree and climb up here. As you can see, there is a piece of loot uh, over there, so we're just gonna go. Oh, wait. Whoa! Wait a minute. Can I not climb that? Uh, I guess I have to actually go through this place properly, huh? Let me just uh, do this. There we go. I wanted to, you know, kind of edge hang from ledge hang from this place, but unfortunately, it was not possible. So let's just keep. Going this way. This is just another alternate path that leads back to the forest where we killed the, uh, you know, the, uh, the what's his face, the headless. Same place. Don't worry about it, as you can see. So, make your way across. Do a little jump. Even if you drop down, it's okay. Once you're here, be careful. There's a bunch of monkeys around here with a uh, drunk cart boss, just like the one that we had back in Hirata. There we go. Okay, he sees me, but the good thing is I can do a couple things. I can use a shuriken to kill the monkeys around him and then fight him. Oh, I guess, I guess uh, not. There we go. Whoa, how did I miss that? So now we can, unfortunately we didn't get the free jump on him. But it's okay. So let's see what he does. Okay, that was, that was a, that was a weird interaction. It's okay though. He's just he's just spamming attacks with that big ass sword of his. Man, this is a weird spot to fight, not gonna lie. Okay, are you are you not tired of spamming me 24-7? There we go. That's the first death blow landed. Nope, I'm not having any of that sumo shit. He didn't even do the biggest big slams in the previous phase. Which is weird. Very uncharacteristic of this big boy. Camera is genuinely playing against me here. He's doing a grab attack, avoid that. There we go. Whew, okay. I got hit at the beginning, but I didn't get hit afterwards, so it kinda counts. Unrefined sake, prayer bead, and that's about that. Awesome. It was a little bit awkward because of the monkeys, but it, it turned out fine. Make your way across here to pick up a nice... I don't know what it is, actually. Is it, is it money? I feel like it's money. No, it's just pellets. Nice, thanks. So, make your way to the top. This is the path that we actually took previously, if you remember. To get to the Mist Noble. The hardest boss in the game, of course. And we're back here. So, you have a couple of things to loot, and that should be it for this area. For this hidden forest. Uh, there we go. Pick up the ceramic. I believe I've looted everything, but if I didn't, feel free to let me know. Uh, there we go. That should be the end of that. Okay, as far as I know, that should be the end of that. If I'm mistaken, feel free to point out in the comments and say that I'm trash. So, should be over. In, this video should be over in a second. All we have to do is actually make our way towards the bonfire, and that is it. We're going to be 
using one of those beautiful, beautiful Gotchin sp Spirit Fall now. Not the Sugars, Spirit Falls. It consumes three of our sp Spirit Emblems, but it's okay. This place is actually filled with those, uh, those, uh, yeah, these, these ninja guys. So I'm trying my best to avoid as many as possible here without dying. But I don't want to get hit by all these stupid shurikens in midair, you know? Anyway, make your way down here, and this is the end of the episode. So rest here, and that should be it for now. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video so far, and if you did, be sure to leave a like. Don't forget to enhance your physical tributes by giving in the prayer beads. And don't you dare go hollow. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.